Our cells go through a normal physiological mechanism where they feed only on themselves, a process called autophagy. The word autophagy is derived from the Greek prefixes auto, self, and phagi, eat food. This type of cellular housekeeping allows our body to remove damaged cell parts while recycling other cells. Inducing autophagy, especially through prolonged fasting, has become a well-known habit among longevity and biohacking people to improve health and extend lifespan. But is this safe? How long is too long of an extended fast? Where does the recent literature stand in humans? In this video on PARS Health TV, we dive into the widespread, but still relatively uncharted, field of autophagy. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. What is autophagy? Autophagy is a form of cellular housekeeping in which misfolded proteins, damaged organelles, and pathogens are degraded and removed from the cell. When the process of autophagy begins, structures, or autophagosomes, begin to form. When the autophagosome is completely closed, it fuses with a lysosome, an organelle that contains enzymes that break down and destroy molecules. The fusion of the two organelles occurs due to lysosomes, where the breakdown of cell parts takes place. Other parts are recycled and reused for cell repair. Autophagy plays a critical role in the homeostasis of cellular health by triggering the death and clearance of healthy cells as well as damaged and dysfunctional cells. Autophagy plays a central role in many areas of health, including the prevention of diseases such as cancer, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, infections, and neurodegenerative and cardiovascular diseases. Like many physiological processes in the body, autophagy declines with age, but a variety of animal and cell studies suggest that increased activation of autophagy can prolong and prolong lifespan. Is autophagy good or bad? The current study does not provide a complete picture of autophagy or how best to induce it. Research shows that autophagy can be good or bad, depending on the situation. Here are some examples of whether autophagy is good or bad. Cancer. Autophagy can prevent cancer development by removing damaged cellular components, but it can also help tumor cells survive stress at a later stage. Inhibition of autophagy has been shown to cause the death of only certain types of tumor cells that depend on autophagy for survival. Infections. In both bacterial and viral infections, autophagy has been shown to benefit some species but not others. Autophagy can kill some pathogens, but some bacteria and viruses can interfere with the autophagy process to multiply and spread. Neurodegenerative diseases. Autophagy may have a protective effect against neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's by breaking down harmful proteins that accumulate in the brain. However, autophagy can also promote the production of certain proteins in nerve cells, leading to their degradation. Cell death. Autophagy plays a role in cell death, but studies show that different cells respond differently. Autophagy promotes cell death during chemotherapy treatment in some cancers but helps cells survive in some cancers. In the future, autophagy may be a treatment for many diseases, but more research is needed to understand the many aspects of autophagy and how they work. The best way to induce autophagy and its specific weight loss benefits is not fully understood and should not be attempted without consulting a physician. Prolonged fasting, calorie restriction, and diets that restrict types of food can increase the risk for people with chronic conditions like diabetes or heart disease. How to induce autophagy Autophagy can be induced by various stress conditions, including caloric restriction, CR, fasting, and exercise. Certain foods and drugs can also stimulate autophagy through different mechanisms. Caloric restriction, which typically reduces total caloric intake by 10 to 40%, is one of the most potent inducers of autophagy. Clinical studies have shown that long-term caloric restriction, 3 to 15 years, increases the expression of autophagy genes, as well as increases the levels of molecules involved in the removal of dysfunctional proteins and organelles. It is well established that both CR and fasting can improve health and extend lifespan, and autophagy may play a key role in this. Intermittent fasting and prolonged fasting also increase autophagic activity. In a 2019 crossover study, researchers analyzed several markers associated with longevity, including autophagy gene expression. A group of 11 obese adults followed an early restricted feeding program, TRF, and a normal eating program. The TRF program improved longevity outcomes, including a 22% increase in the production of the autophagy gene LCA after just 4 days. 
A small number of human studies have also shown that prolonged fasting induces increased autophagic activity through different mechanisms. Exercise also induces autophagy in muscle tissue. Autophagy markers increased immediately after brief high-intensity exercise as well as during longer moderate-intensity exercise. Some researchers have attempted to determine whether exercise induces greater activation of autophagy after prolonged fasting. However, one study found that exercise intensity was more effective in inducing autophagy regardless of fasting or not. How long does fasting take for autophagy? Current evidence suggests that autophagy is activated anywhere from 18 hours, as shown by the ITFOR study, to 4 days. However, there are few studies measuring fasting and autophagy in humans. As mentioned earlier, intermittent fasting, caloric restriction, and exercise are all ways to promote autophagy without fasting for several days. What foods can hinder autophagy? Interestingly, protein-based beverages can reduce autophagic activity. In a randomized controlled crossover study, eight men were given different protein and carbohydrate drinks after a 36-hour fast. A marker of autophagic activity, or K-LK ratio, was measured in the fasted and non-fasting periods. Autophagy was reduced when men drank protein-rich beverages, leucine-rich whey or soy proteins, instead of carbohydrate-rich beverages. The researchers note that these results are consistent with rodent studies in which branched-chain amino acids tend to inhibit autophagy under catabolic conditions such as fasting. On the other hand, glucose did not affect autophagy. How to increase autophagy? Research shows that autophagy can be increased by activities that cause stress to cells, such as prolonged fasting for two or three days causes nutritional deficiencies. Physical exercise, which can damage cells, triggers autophagy. Some diets, such as the ketogenic diet, deprive the body of carbohydrates. Foods that promote autophagy. Recent research suggests that polyphenols, beneficial compounds found in plants, may play a role in inducing autophagy. Polyphenols stimulate multiple pathways leading to autophagy and longevity. For example, resveratrol is a common inducer of autophagy in grape skins and nuts. Other polyphenols include quercetin, green tea catechins, and curcumin. These foods contain polyphenols that promote autophagy. Green tea, grape skins, red wine, nut, onion, apple, berry, turmeric, soy, milk thistle. So, autophagy is a form of cellular housekeeping in which misfolded proteins, damaged organelles, and pathogens are degraded and removed from the cell. Autophagy plays a critical role in many areas of health and, like many physiological processes in the body, declines with age. Caloric restriction, fasting, and exercise are powerful inducers of autophagy. The beneficial compounds polyphenols found in plants can also affect autophagy. There are few studies measuring fasting and autophagy in humans. More research is required to fully understand the benefits and effects of autophagy. Thanks for tuning in. Wishing you a great day.